Hello and welcome to eMinds Technology. This is Jay Chandran here. In this small video, we are going to learn about uh, IPv6 configuration. The first video will cover IPv6 configuration. The second video will be covering a RIP NG configuration on IPv6 environment. Third video will be about EIGRP. Fourth OSPF and fifth will be BGP. And we'll also learn as a bonus, which is a CCI syllabus, we learn in NP tunneling. All right? Right. Now let's start with R1 router one. I'm going under interface fast to the net one slash zero. No shutdown. IP V6 address. I would like to give 2000 as the network. We call it as global ID. And I say first 64 bit is global ID, that is network in our language, IPv4 language. And the remaining 64, I'm asking it to use extended unique identifier, meaning it takes the MAC address, it builds the interface ID for us. EY 64 alright now if that is the case let us go and verify what address has come show IPv6 interface brief which will give us the IP address that we gave we simply gave 2000 the remaining address is built by taking MAC address and by adding FFFE in the middle and then inverting this seventh bit so you got c8 why c8 actual mac address is ca yes. a you added here. seventh bit if you invert a will become eight seventh bit from left yes. it will become eight and that's why you got this eight fff is added the other rest of the things are same like mac address 0, 0, 1 C. The leading 0 has no value, so we have only 1 C. Right? Same address. And what address is this? This is the link local address which helps to discover neighbor which is used by all protocols to share the updates. This link local address is a special address that you won't find in IPv4. Right? Now, this is the one which discovers the neighbor. This does, you know, ARP job whatever ARP will do in IPv4 this is doing for us here now let us also give a loopback address interface I want to give one more interface so interface loopback 0 here I want to give a IP address like this IPv6 address 111 colon 111 just you know I want to use some address uh, this is not globally specified address, but still I want to use nothing yeah. use wrong in using in a lab environment. I say first the 64 bit is network global ID, uh, global ID. or uh, since it's a loopback address, I can also mask like 128 completely masked, yes. right? Fully masked next. Now, if I mask what will happen, if I mask what will happen, uh, I cannot teach you static route. So, let it be a 64 itself, right? I am just changing. Now, if I hit enter, you know what will happen? You will have two address. First of all, it won't take. See, it is saying overlapping. If I do small alteration and give, don't think old address is deleted, old address is also there. Show IPv6 interface brief. Two address. So it is not IPv4. In IPv4, one address overrides the other one. Here you have stack. You can have more number of address on a single interface. So let me remove by saying no. I think 128 has to be removed. Yeah, 
and two also I'll remove. Let me give the address that I want. I want actually this one, right? So let us verify now. Show IPv6 interface brief. Okay. You got one address on Lubeck, and this also has taken the uh, MAC address and build. But here we didn't say take MAC address. We gave manually address dot one colon one. Yes. So ready. Now I would like to give colon one for this also. Sir, to take from MAC ID means you have to use EY sixty four. EY sixty four. EUI, no? Yep. Extended yeah. unique identifier sixty four. Now I don't want this MAC address. I don't want EY sixty four. I want to give manually. Okay. So what can I do? Go under interface fast to the net zero slash not zero slash one slash zero and put no. no first cancel the old one okay. and then say IPv6 address two thousand colon colon one slash sixty four. What does that mean? Totally 128. Okay. All zeros here comes six octets of zeros. Okay. First 64 is network, that yeah. is global ID. Okay. The last 64 you have only one bit. Okay. Okay. Owned. Now I don't want this link local address also dynamically coming. I want to give manually. Okay. So what I can do, I can simply say IPv6 address same command, but start with FE80 always. Okay. Colon colon one. Don't put slash and all. Simply say link local. This is how we assign link local address. All right, now let's go to router one. Okay, one more interface is there. Lubeck interface Lubeck zero. Even there also, I want to give link local address. Very carefully, you listen. What I'm doing? I'm giving the same link local address for two interface. How can two interface have same address? It can have. It can, it can have two, two address. We can have two address, same address on same router because this is not a global ID, this is a link local ID. This has only significant on that particular link. Lubeck is one link, faster than one slash is another link. They are different links, so you can have. We can have right now. Let us go and verify. Show IPv6 interface brief. Look at this the link local address. B gave nothing wrong in giving link local address, same because they have significant only on that interface. Now, let me do on R2 quickly. You know, our video is getting lengthy. No shut. No shut IPv6 address. What address we gave there? 2000, right? 2001 I gave. So for this router, I am going to give 2. 2. Sorry, slash 64. Do not fail to give this. Right. Now, going back to router 2. Link local address IPv6 address FE80 colon colon. This is router 2, so I want to give 2 link local address. Again, I am saying this is not mandatory to give link local address because link local address can be a uniquely uh, unique address that is taken from MAC address. It, can, it will be a unique address which e even if it is assigning dynamically. But still, I am giving in the lab environment to check which router is talking to which router and what address is used to discover neighbor. Right. For verification purpose, this will be more good. So, I am giving this. Now, one more uh, show IPv6 interface brief. All right. The interfaces are up, but the in interface blueback address is not given. IPv6 address. On R2, we give 2222 colon 222 colon 22 colon 2 colon colon 2 slash 64. Alright, 
link local address same link local address same link local address one more time verification done let us go to our three router enable config the interface fast ethernet 1 slash 0 no shutdown ipv6 address 2000 colon colon 3 slash 64 then link local address ipv6 address fp80 colon colon 3 link local interface loopback 0 ipv6 address 3333 colon 333 colon 33 colon 3 colon colon 3 slash 64 then one more time the link local address done now show ipv6 interface brief we got this all right next what we are going to do is we are we we learned how to assign an ip address we learned how to assign ipv6 address now we learn static route we learn static route now i would like to write a static route ipv6 route if you want to go to which network router one slew back 1111 colon 111 colon 11 colon 1 colon colon slash 64 why 4 octets are 64 that that one uh, the last one i am not taking because that's a host id first 64 bit means in the first 4 octet 16 fours are 64 if you want to go to this network go to which address 2000 2000 colon colon 1 this is the address of router 1 correct now let us ping from here before that show ipv6 route it says statically an address has been assigned for this network or global id now let me ping from here 1 pings right we are pinging the lubeck address of r1 likewise if you want to write for r2 what do you will do here you will put 2 because that is router 2's address and here we will say 2222 colon 222 colon 22 colon 2 now if you ping this address 2 pings this is how we write a static route hope you understood how to give an IP address to an interface and then assign a static route one more thing we will learn here show IPv6 neighbor command it will show you all the neighbors look at this I know how to reach this neighbor I know how to reach this neighbor to reach this neighbor this is the link local address to reach this neighbor this is the link local address through link local address it has learned a MAC address hope you understood how a configuration link local address the global id uh, is getting configured and it works and static route works thanks for watching this video see you in the next video of repng bye bye